as well so how do i connect power bi desktop to this if um, i want to connect power bi to my azure storage gen 2 so there's two ways you can connect power bi to this particular um, storage which i'm going to show you now okay so there are two ways i can connect with um, power bi desktop so i can go to get data and click on more from here so once i click on more it's going to give me the list of all the things i can connect power bi desktop to and right now i would like to connect it directly to the azure data lake um, um, gen 2 right which is um, currently loading now right interesting so once i type azure here i can see all the connections related to azure and the one i would like to connect to is the data lake gen 2 which is um, this one you can see azure data lake um, um, gen 2 so even if i type let me just type data lake here you will see um sorry azure data lake Alright, so I have all the Azure connector here and I have the Azure Data Lake uh, Gen 2. So I'm going to click on the, this Azure Data Lake, Azure Data Lake um, Gen 2 and I'll click on connect. Now it's going to ask me for um, something and let's see. Okay, so now it's asking me for the URL to connect to um, that. Um, um, Azure Data Lake. So, and it's asking which one do I want? Do you want a file system or you want a CDM folder view, which is on beta? So, uh, to get the to to get the URL, I'll go back to my um, Azure Data Lake here, and then remember, I I can go back to overview. So, I need the URL here. So, the overview technically will not show the URL in full as I want to see it. So, if this is not showing it in full, um, I can go to um i can go down here to something called endpoints right then on that endpoint i can come to azure data lake data lake storage you can see data lake storage then under data lake storage i can copy the primary endpoint which is the data lake um, story primary endpoints that's the url i'll copy that and go back to my power bi and paste that here then click on ok Okay, so then once I click on OK, there are two ways to connect. I can either sign in to these two authentication with the email address and password I used there. Or I can also use an account key. But in order to save us the stress, let me just use the account key. So I can go to um, my account access key here. Then under my access key, my account key should be here, which is um, this one actually. This key here, that is my key. So I can just um, copy this copy this key and then go to my power bi and paste this key here and click on connect Okay, so right now you can see the uh, CSV file that I dropped inside that my Azure Blob Story. You can see that CSV file here. We can, I can click on transform and this to go to Power Query just to expand the, the file. Okay, so my Power Query file is coming up. Alright, so this is the Power Query, and then inside here I have the Staff Performance here, so which is um, 
what I what I want and I have the binary here so I'm just going to click the binary for the staff performance content and it's going to bring out the staff performance um, file for me which is the actual files that I would like to to see okay so this is it and I can have my staff performance um, table right now we I can now start using a power bi to create um, any other thing I want to I want to create so I mentioned there's another way I can connect um, um, power bi to this so it's using the Azure blob storage so I'm going to click on more and then this time we're using blob storage instead not just the Azure data lake gen 2 so here I'm going to come to Azure and then under Azure I'll look at the Azure blob storage so this is the one that I want now Azure blob storage and I'm going to click on connect So right now the blob storage is asking for account name or URL. So I can go back to my um, Gen 2 and then here I'm going to go back to my endpoints. Um, but this endpoint actually, you know, remember the other time I used the primary, I used the primary endpoint from um, Data Log Story. But this time I'm just going to pick only the name, right? Just the name of the uh, of the. The name of my uh, blob storage right and I can go to my um, overview page just to pick that since what I want is the name just the name All right so I'll copy that from here and um, that is my resource group name so I'm going to copy it in. Oh, sorry. This is a resource group name. I actually need the uh, the name of the storage itself. So let me just go to access key. I should be able to get that from access key. And then from my access key area, I have the story name here. So I can just copy. I can type actually if I want to, but I just prefer to always copy. So I can copy this and then go to my Power BI, um, paste it here and click on OK. Okay, so now you can see this is also asking for access key but we've lost the connections to our uh, oe2h authentication here that's because storage does not allow that it only allowed the key so i'll go back to my azure and then copy the key from here let's copy the key and go back to my power bi and then paste the key and click on connect Okay, it's connecting right now. Okay, and then here I have all my container, right? I can see all of them here. So when you click this one, you should have everything you have inside there. So here I have a folder and I have a, a, a staff performance. Under my demo two, I really did not have anything, so it's kind of empty. So let me go to table one and just demo one, which is my first container, and just click on uh, transform. Okay, so my Power Query editor is coming up. Okay, so once I click on transform, it's kind of here and what I need is this one. So I'm just going to click on the binary for staff performance just to show me the, the staff performance, which is the actual file that I want. And this is it here. Um, I've been able to see this. So thank you so much for joining my session.